Hi everyone, I'm your host Emma Burgage. And I'm your co-host Jose Camacho. Whether you're a player or a coach, or you're just passionate about what you do and you want to be the best at it, this is the amazing podcast for you. Today's episode is sponsored by Matchset. Matchset is an amazing company that provides players with incredible equipment and apparel. With Matchset, equipment does matter and they make sure it won't slow you down. Use code Tennis with Emma to get 10% of match tennis today. Hi everyone, good morning. Um, thank you for listening to this new episode, uh, which is really exciting. Uh, we haven't done one, you and me, for a while. Yeah. You know? uh, but it's a special occasion. Uh, I'm guessing most people that listen to the podcast also follow Emma on Instagram and social media, so they know what's been going on the last few days. Uh, but Emma had an absolutely like incredible performance in Battle of Boca, which is, um, it's for the people in the area, you guys probably know, who, you, who was not familiar with the like Florida tournaments in the Florida um, area. It's a really big tournament. They play almost every weekend, and there's really, really high level, uh, like teenager, college players, and even pro players that play this um, this tournament every week, and and the level's really good. Like uh, it's it's really good on both men and women. And Emma got all the way to the final. Unfortunately, got suspended because of rain. Um, but it was an, an incredible performance. You played some great players, and and I think it's a huge accomplishment that really is going to boost your confidence. I feel like on this this new journey. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit, and then we get started with the questions. Yes, thank you, Jose, for that great introduction. We're uh, usually not that nice to each other, but <laughs> it's a podcast. So. Um, okay, so also I really love this setup. This is so nice, yeah. Yeah, it's, so nice. it's really nice. It's at home. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, and I have coffee and chocolate. and you know, so. Anyways, yeah, so the Battle of Boca, it's, um, it's a UTR tournament. Um, and it's for UTR ranking, rating. It's not for, and prize money. It's not for um, uh, for ITF or WTA points, but it's a great practice. You know, n a lot of players are coming to this tournament, not just from Florida, they're like from everywhere, uh, coming to get that extra match play. And like, let's say some girls are playing on tour and they want to, um, get that extra practice in or make some more money over the weekend, they come and play this. And uh, I think it's honestly great because in my time, back in the day, we didn't have these tournaments, you know? So I think this is great. So for me, it's like, okay, I was going to be like, okay, let me play maybe a few weekends, like two or three weekends of Battle of Boca so I can get more match play in to kind of also see where I'm at. And then I can, you know, sign up for 15K, 25Ks. I honestly did not expect I was going to get this far, to be honest. Um, you know, it was like 100, the draw was on 128. And there were like 110 girls. I had a buy first round. And, you know, every match, like you said, it was challenging. And, you know, I'm 30, almost 31. Actually, my birthday is coming up. Just FYI for everyone listening. Uh, <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I had a bye first round. Then the second round, I won 6 0 6 0. I played really good. The girl wasn't, she, she, was, she was not bad, but I played perfect, right? And it was like at 7 p.m. at night, it was fine. Then all of my other matches, the next four matches were a grind. Yeah. Grind. Like, I fought so hard, and it was really hot. Really hot in two matches a day, which is, I mean, and I haven't played in so long. And, you know, as you know, I've been injured. I haven't even trained that much. I'm still, like, my fitness level, I'm not, like... Anyways, so we're going to talk about that. But um, I'm really happy and really proud of myself for the way I fought and yesterday, too, you didn't watch the match yesterday. You know, this girl that I played yesterday, she's, she's going to UCLA now. She played, she last year, she played all four junior grand slams. She's like that. You know, I played my best tennis when I was 16, 17. I was playing those yeah. grand slams. I was playing pro tournaments and winning, you know. Like, now I'm playing all these girls that are coming up. They're working so hard. I asked her how much she's training. She's training double more than I am, you know. But it's... I won all of my last four matches on the experience, right. really, on the experience and the maturity. But 
not because I'm necessarily a better player, right. but we'll talk about these things more. And I'm basically, I'm happy that I am, I made it that far. I wish we could have played the finals, but we just split the prize money and, um, at least I don't have a loss on my record yet. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. That's great. That's fantastic. And I think this is a great segue for their, for our next question. Cause I remember we, so we started warming up together in the mornings, I think after the first round. So I think you played the first round and then we started like kind of working out and warming up in the mornings after that round. And I remember you telling me like how good you felt on that first match and how everything is like almost picture perfect, right? Like everything you, you like planned, uh, for your strategy and everything, everything worked out. You were feeling the ball and everything. Um, and I remember we talked about how just being careful with that, right? Cause sometimes it, it doesn't go too well. You know, it was, it was going to get tough at some point, right? We didn't know if it was going to be second round or third round or fourth round, but it was going to get harder at some point. And then sometimes having things work too good, it, it can work against you. Cause then when something goes a little bit wrong, you're like, now you're lost, right? You don't know what to do when you get frustrated and then you, you kind of give up on it. Um, and that's exactly what happened. You did, you didn't, you, you were able to manage it. You know what I mean? But it, it was a grind, uh, right after on the, on the Saturday that I was watching the match. Um, so like go, jumping into our, our first question, I wanted to know how, how do you feel bef like going into the tournament? You know, having been gone from competition so, so long, having prepared dealing with injuries in not even matches, but you, in, you got injured in practice, right? But only on the, on the training side. Um, how did you feel in terms of confidence, like going into battle of Boca? Honestly, going in there, well, you're, I you're did really not, nervous as well. Yeah, right? I did not know what to expect. It was so weird. I'm like, okay, because I only trained full out, but not even full out, two weeks before that. Right. Only two weeks, but not even full out because my body is not 100% yet, so I'm still not working on the explosiveness. You know, I'm going to physical therapy. I am... Um, doing you know exercises in the gym progressing slowly mm -hmm. but i'm not there at i'm not doing agility right. yet i'm not doing jumps i'm not doing any of these things right? right like i'm doing like more stationary stuff taking it easy strengthening my core and like the deeper muscles so the base is good right. first before i can jump into something more advanced because i'm not ready for it now right, right? Yeah. so um, so then, and then only I played a set against you before mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And I played a set against one more guy. Right. Oh, and one more girl, yeah. Diana. And that's it. Like just practice yeah. set yeah, yeah. and that's it. Just one set. Right. Um, and haven't really trained much. Sergio has been gone. My coach has been gone also for two weeks to Spain. So, you know, I've been hitting with you. You've been helping me, feeding me balls. Iris is helping me, has been helping me and just hitting with some people here and there, but nothing really, I haven't been training. Like these girls are like right. yeah. three hours here uh, in a group, hour and a half private, then fitness. No, I'm like, I hit once today. I'm like, okay, I'm good. I wasn't in pain today. That's yeah. progress. Yeah. So I did not know what to expect. So obviously my confidence wasn't there right. because you, I feel like you have more confidence when you know you're putting in the work. Right. I was putting in the work, I'm not saying, but not enough not, not work. Not the competition side of things. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, okay, it's no ad, third set, match yeah. tiebreaker, right. I'll be fine. Yeah. And I honestly, my goal was just to go through the match without pain. Right. I was like, please God, just like, I really like the pain that right. I had yeah, in yeah. my back. Yeah. I just want to, you know, walk off and feel good. First match, fine. Second, so and then like just like one match after another, right. but um, definitely not confident. Definitely very nervous, as you know. Yeah. And before going into every match, I was like anxious. Right. Not because I wanted to win or lose. Not because of that. It's just I don't know. Yeah, no. There's a lot on the line. I feel like you know. There's there's still that fear of like, I guess as, as an athlete you want to perform and you're scared of like lack of perf like underperforming no? what, what you're um when you know you're able to play and but i think it's it was a great that especially that saturday when you felt like you were so quiet like we, we drove together to the term and you were so quiet which is really rare for emma so um i noticed that you were like so nervous that that day going into the tournament uh which i think it's good in a way right because there's it's 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 giving you the feeling that you used to have when you competed right it's giving them back and 
I feel like it's a w good way to prove that with those nerves, even with like that high anxiety and um, and what, whatever you felt, you were able to pull it off. You were still able to play and perform, right? So it's, there was nothing wrong with having those feelings. It was actually pretty normal. But then you, you were able to control them. And yeah, at, at the beginning, you were tight, right? You, you could see that uh, your serve, that you weren't kind of feeling the ball. Uh, you weren't attacking too much. You, you could feel the nerves still in the match. But it, it started kind of dissolving. And then it went all the way uh, into the final. Like it, it kept getting better every match, I feel like. I don't know how you felt. Yes and no. It was really up and down. Um, and what really helped me in the last two matches, and I, I don't think I told you, um, is that um, there's this guy I work with. I mentioned him before um, in my vlogs, actually. Not in the podcast, but you're not watching my vlogs, so you would not know. Uh, <laughs> um, his name is Jure. Um, he's from Slovenia. He lives in Dominican Republic. He does these like different breathing methods. He's basically my mental coach. Like um, he um, on Instagram, and you can tag him here. Genuine athlete, I think genuine period athlete. He's great, really. Like, and um, I told him, you know, actually before semifinals when I was driving there by myself. Um, Poor thing. I know. Um, I called him and I told him, you know, how I feel. I'm like, so anxious. Like, it's hard for me to breathe, you know? And I'm like, I can't eat. I feel like I lost like anywhere from five to 10 pounds in those four days because between matches, I couldn't eat. At night, I couldn't really eat. In the morning before the match, it's like, like this feeling in my stomach of like anxiousness and I can't eat, but I need the energy, right? And then I don't have the energy during the match. And it's like, I'm like, how do I deal with this? I was like, do I, do I accept it? You know, like, how, how do I deal with this? And then he's like, the best athletes, you know, they, they accept it. You know, they accept it. Every feeling that comes to them, they accept it. They don't try to fight it. And it's normal that, that you feel like that. And you just find the ways to work on that. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's kind of what it's like. Same thing that I told you that morning. I know. When I did <laughs> but okay, sure. Steal away from all my intellectual information. I know. I know. You're the best. And there was one more thing that helped me. Remember that morning when I felt really bad. I think it was Sunday morning, the second day. Yeah. Um, like I barely like could warm up. Like I was no energy. It was so weird. And then he told me he was like. You know what Navy SEALs say? What they are, what they, what they tell to Navy SEALs is when you are, when you think you have nothing left, when you have no energy, you still have sixty percent in you. So when I went to the match, I literally I was dying. I'm not even kidding. It was so hot that I was. I thought I was literally about to cramp, and I saw this guy, court next to me had full body cramps and ambulance came and got him. I was like, oh, that's going to be me any minute. But then I'm like, hmm, I got 60 more percent in me. <laughs> I remember, like, it was bad. It was bad at some point. Like, I remember oh my God. on Saturday, like, I was, I was, so she was playing and switching sides every, like, uh, one or two games. And I kept switching with you, right, to see you yeah. playing, like, record videos. I remember, like, every time she would come to her towel, like, things would get worse. Like, she would come like, oh, my God, I'm going to puke. Oh, my God, I'm going to puke. And it's like, okay, time will go by. Like she'll play two games. And then I was like, I think my toenail got cut off. I think I lost my toenail. I lost my toenail. I'm going to die right now. I was like, Jesus, this little lady's going to lose a leg the next time she comes to the towel. Like you getting... didn't come the last match that I played. I say it was the worst. Because the opponent was by far the best. And I played the best out of my own matches. But, you know, I was down... Six four five four. It was forty fifteen. She was serving. <laughs> yeah, I and I honestly and I my leg was cramping my left leg, so I was like, I was limping. <laughs> I would with a point. I would look into you know my my fans, <laughs> the five people that came to watch me, which I'm really thankful for. And I'd be like, I would just be like. And then I would go back to the fence and I would like sit down and get a towel. And so dramatic. <laughs> so dramatic. So dramatic. Thank God there was no referee 
Because if there was a referee, it would be time violation multiple yeah. times because I was really taking my yeah. time. Um, <laughs> yeah, you okay. looked, it was crazy. It was so crazy. You were like, playing great, but it was like, like you were like the points were so amazing and everything. But then you see like this woman looks like she's we just came back from the war. Like you didn't look like a tennis player, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm a war child. Yeah. <laughs> That was very good. And you know what was really keeping me, like, what was really in those tough moments? <laughs> I was like, Emma, this is not harder than giving birth. <laughs> Honestly, I was like, this is not more painful. You've been through that two times. You can do this. Yeah. <laughs> really, like, that gave me energy. And I'm like, what would your kids say if they saw you right now? <laughs> fight, right? Fight, stop feeling sorry for yourself. You got this. <laughs> so yeah, it was a lot of inner, yeah. inner talk. Great, great. Um, okay, let's move on to the next question. Um, <laughs> so I had for you, um, well, the, the, yeah, this kind of ties back to the, the physical side of things, right? Um, only physically. Uh, I mean, I guess you can tie into the, the mental strategy you use, but w when you do feel like your body was kind of giving up on you, like when you feel like it's really bad uh, with, the, with the cramps, with the toenails, whatever it has happening, <laughs> uh, oh, like w what do you think is a good strategy to get get your body to push a little bit more? And because you, you, you definitely looked in a, like the lowest you could go at some point. You know what I mean? I was like, this cannot go any worse. Like in terms of physical, like how bad your tired you felt, um, do you think like, at some point you kind of like deal deal with it and then it kind of starts you, not doesn't go away but it's like manageable to to keep playing? Yeah, I mean, um, I have a friend. He tells me always, it's more in your head than it is in your body. Your your head controls mm. like how your body feels. Right. I was like, seriously? He's like, yeah, seriously. Like, I'm like, wow. That, that's a good point. Yeah. You know, then you just like, you keep telling yourself mm -hmm. like, okay, you got like, I mean, if I'm going to pass out, I'm going to pass out. Right. I'm I literally, I was telling myself this, like, okay, well, if I get to that point, I got to that point. Right. You know, what can I, there's nothing else I can do, but like, I'm not going to let my mind like be like, oh my God, oh my God. And then I'm breathing so heavy. So then I, what happens is like, you know, when you're feeling like this and you're freaking out and like, and you're tired and it's really hot. This yeah. is like the hottest summer in Florida in a long time. Um, and I'm like, <gasps> and then like, instead of doing that, it's like, like nasal breathing, mm -hmm. breathe into your nose. Like you have to do that because if you keep breathing into your mouth, that really messes up. Yeah. I don't know if that answers No, that's great. Questions. No, that's great. And yeah, I mean, I, I guess to a certain point, like it's, at a certain point in which it's an, like a serious injury, you can't yeah. go like, oh, it's all in my mind, obviously. But Yeah, obviously. But, but it, I do get your point in which like, uh, the, like the mind starts going faster every time when mm -hmm. you start feeling, right? When, you, when you're feeling pain, then your mind starts going 100 miles per hour. Like, yeah. no, I can't, right? I'm, I'm yeah. going to get injured or something like that. Yeah. And sometimes like kind of, sh not not shutting it down, but kind of not listening to everything your mind says and kind of being like present and, and keep playing. Because that's what you did. Kept playing every point and... Yeah, out. I'm like, okay, just think about this point right here, right now. Don't think about, you know, I mean, I was like, <laughs> what helped really was that I knew that the third set is a super tiebreaker. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I don't have to play the full third yeah. set. And next week is a full match with ad scoring and with full set, third set. So that will be interesting to see. Yeah. But, you know, um, I can do it. I can do it, and I'm, I'm tough. And if I can't, I I can't. But it's gonna take a lot. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. I love it that you're enjoying the process and accepting what you can yes. and can't do. You know what I mean? Like, yes. Like, you're not trying to go for the end goal right now. No. You know what I mean, it's like no. you accept that, like you you know that you're not as physically capable yeah. as, a, as a 13 year olds were playing like clearly you know you can see Not that they're 13 they, it was 15 year olds were like they're they're young they're high yeah. school kids or they're about to go to college and it, as you said it was experience and like the, qu <laughs> the quality of their game but um 
They, they don't seem to get tired. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, you keep playing, yeah. they're like chilling. It's <laughs> you insane. have to see the semifinals when we were like split, when we split sets. And I'm literally like, my friends over there, they're like carrying me off the court. And I'm sitting there like, you know, they're like bringing me everything. And she looks like she could go five more sets. It was crazy. It was I'm crazy. like, wow, I, I have a that long made the way. I the a lot more enjoyable, like more impressive. Because well, these that matched on Saturday, the girl you were playing, like, <laughs> Like, if you saw that picture, there was no way you thought you were winning. Because you were, like, on the fence <laughs> like this. And the other girls were just, like, waiting to serve. Yeah. <laughs> but then, you know what I mean? It was crazy. It was a crazy match. And it's also... But honestly, I know, like... You said that very good. Like, I'm really enjoying the process. Mm -hmm. I really am. The hard times, I'm enjoying it. I am aware that I need to start from zero, from scratch. I was that 16 year old girl. I was a girl there grinding and, you know, but now I'm a 30 year old mm -hmm. woman, yeah. right? That has so much more experience. Right. Uh, that is so much more mature that physically I'm not strong. I'm not there, but that's the next challenge. And like Scott, that we had a podcast earlier with, and he made a good point. It's not a sprint. It's going to be a marathon, you know? And for me, I'm not 16 anymore. And I'm like, oh, I have so much time. No, my time is limited now. So everything I'm doing on a daily basis, it affects everything. Right. Right? I think that's huge. Like accepting the things that are not, that you don't have anymore. You can't have them. Yeah, right? so you can't. you play to your strength. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like, no, no, I'm going to be as fit as the 15-year-old. Mm -hmm. Like you can't. No, you can't. no. It's not, not, it's not, it's not. Yeah. Possible is not realistic. Yeah. But then, then that makes you stronger because you know, yeah. okay, this is what I don't have. Yeah. But this is what I do have. Right. How but can I win with this? Exactly. And I have different, different, different strengths. Right. 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 And am I going to focus on what my weakness is or what my strength is? It's about finding a solution to the problem. Not being like, oh, well, I'm not as fit. I'm not, I'm not fast right now. I can't get to that ball. No, like, it's uh, uh, honestly that's why I love this. My friend yesterday, she she came to watch me, and she's like, she recorded a voice message after, and she's like, I mean, you can really see that you have the love for the game because you have better things to do on a Tuesday afternoon or a Tuesday at twelve than to grind and cramp and play a battle of boca yeah. you know for for what money like there's no i, I can make more money teaching lessons right. Yeah. right but you can see the love for the game that i have and how much i want it right now mm -hmm. like i feel like nobody out there wants it more than i do right now i i know it, it sounds crazy and you can call me crazy and a lot of people are like oh my god what are you doing probably like you know with my comeback but ask me if I care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's great. Yeah. No, I love the mentality. It's going great. Um, and then, how do you think your self confidence changed? All right. So you said no self, not a lot of self confidence before. Obviously, you haven't had that comp that much competition. Um, how did it change over the other two days? How, like, how's how's it now? But how did it evolve during each day of play? If if it did, it was better and better every time. Okay. I honestly really wanted to play the finals, which is really weird for me because I always have this doubt. I always, I used to have to this self-doubt, right? Like, oh my God, well, yeah, maybe I want that, but I, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do the next match, right. you know? Right. But like, even if my serve doesn't feel perfect, my forehand doesn't feel, my back end, but I had that confidence. I'm like, I can find a way how to win, right. you know? And it's not about having the perfect strokes it's really not about that mm -hmm. it's about finding the way right. because the girl the opponent from on the other side is struggling with something with her confidence with with her injury with her parent you know with her coach with something you know so it's just who's going to overcome those things better right, right? Yeah. um so right now today the day after I finished the tournament, I mean, I'm really tired and I literally could like fall asleep if I close my eyes right now. And I'm really sore, but I'm really happy and I'm confident where this is going. Um, 
because after this tournament, I saw that I still have it in me. Right. I have that fighting mindset, competitive mindset, hungry mindset, and I can find a way how to win a point, but there's so much I can improve. Right. And that that's what's going to drive me. Like, let's see. Let's see how much I can improve. Let's see where I can get to. And then when I see, okay, this is my limit. I can't go anymore. Okay, mm -hmm. I can't. But my confidence level now is great. Okay, next week I'm playing that 25K, which the level is going to be stronger. Right. But I'm like, okay, bring it. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe I'll go and lose the first round 6-0, six, 6-0. Zero, six, zero. Maybe it's going to be like, ooh. Well, I don't think I will. Like, I don't think I will. Um, I know I don't have that many days to prepare until then when it comes to physical strength, so I'm not going to be still in my best shape, so right. it's going to be a grind. But, you know, let's do it. Why not? That's awesome. That's amazing. And um, so it, now going back to only technical stuff, um, what do you think was great this weekend? <laughs> what, was, what needs improvement right, in terms of technical stuff? <laughs> Nothing was great. Nothing was great. I'm telling you, like, I, I can't even say. And remember, I asked you this too. <laughs> yeah, but I, no. See, this is where I'm going to stop you. Like, stop me. I know that, like, I know you and how your mentality is, like, sometimes uh, more towards the negative side, you know? Yeah. Because I remember that second day, like, after you had your played Saturday, on Sunday, you were like, oh my God, I'm going to die right now. I was like, I promise you, you're not. Like, you're not going to die. Like, I promise you, you're going to step in that corner, you're going to be able to play. But it, you know what I mean? Like, you tend to be really strict with yourself, and sometimes it's, it's got to be careful because it gets into the really, yeah. like, dark stuff. Yeah. You're like, no, like, I don't want to, I feel, like, terrible. You're like, I feel so edgy, I'm going to explode, I'm going to kill someone. It's like, you know, <laughs> you get really, like, on the negative side of things. So, I feel like also learning how to find, even when you feel like everything was terrible, like, I just figured out a way to win. Well, that's that's a positive already, you know? The, but, but you're saying technical. They're still, still, to win, to make the finals on Battle of Boca, there's something that has to work better than other things. Yes, you can improve. Maybe you can say you, I can improve all and everything. I can improve a little bit, right? In yeah. my serve, can get better. But like, I don't know. Maybe okay. Yes. Okay. 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 I can that answer. I can answer. God. God. My swinging volleys were great. My overheads were great when I would come to the net, okay. which was not that often, but you know, I tried. Uh, I uh, my backhand down the line was good. Um, when I would go for my backhand, go through with my left arm and full swing and my leg through, I had a really good backhand, cross court and down the line. Mm. Uh, when I would not get there with my feet and just like, eh, it wasn't good. Um, my serve on the moments, uh, no, not really, no, no, my serve was not that good. I agree with that. Um, forehand, like on and off, like so on and off. Sometimes it was great. Other times I was really late. Mm. Um, yeah. That's, that's a good, it. let's see, that's a good, uh, like a good summary of, of the technical mm -hmm. stuff. And then uh, the last one I have is, have your goals, beliefs, and like plans changed or been adjusted after this? Or, or do you plan, to, like it's too early, right? You just mm. finished playing yesterday, but like, you think that anything's gonna change in terms of your goals, like, yeah, your goals or beliefs or how you're gonna do things, how you're gonna manage your playing or your tournaments, and I don't know, like you said, has anything changed in that sense no. after this? Everything stays exactly the same. Yep. Everything stays the same. It was just like all oh, confidence boost. Honestly, it was it was what I needed. If I went there and I lost like second round, I'll be like, God, what am I doing? Right. You know, like is this? Or maybe I wouldn't. I don't know. But like now, I'm really like, okay, I got this. Let's just keep going. I'm doing the right things. I feel like I'm doing the right things when it comes with everything. I wasn't from the beginning. I've been making a lot of adjustments in the last like three months. And you have to also understand, and you know this, a lot of things going on in my personal life that is not really letting me be completely free and excel in everything that I'm doing. And it's like weighing me down. So when a lot of things have to come together, I feel like it's coming together. Mm. You know, I'm like on a breakthrough. Like things are coming together slowly. I'm being more organized when it comes to my um, my work, my kids, um, you know, the training, the taking care of my body, nutrition. But you know, being not being too hard on myself and like not expecting for myself to like 
be good and everything immediately. Right. But like, okay, like if, you know, today I'm not perfect in this, it's okay. It's fine. You know, like taking it one step at a time and, you know, it's like a puzzle. And they're like, it's kind of coming together. And I feel it mentally too. Everything is kind of like in my life, it's making sense. But you have to, in order to really find yourself and your happiness, like you have to go through messy periods. You have to go through messy periods and it gets messy and it gets ugly and it gets uncomfortable. Um, but then it gets good again. Right. And then you're like, oh, that was all worth it, you know? But it's how you handle those moments when it's messy and ugly, what separates the, you know, really successful people from just average, I guess. Great. Oh, that's great. Love it, Emma. And then, um, I mean, we're getting ready to finish off, but is there anyone, like, yeah, anything you want to say to the people that were there for you? That I know a lot of people, like, obviously, also kids that train with you, parents, I can't go, but... There's a lot of people following the whole journey since you started training and going, like you said that you were going back on tour. Um, a lot of people that are really like genuinely happy for you. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, so I don't know if you wanted to, to say something about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> stop it. Stop it. I know it's not like I want like something huge or, but this is a is big, huge, big thing for me. And it is a big tournament here. Like Scott mentioned earlier, like it, it is. And I've been going through a lot lately in my life and my family is not here. And just to have the support around me and friends, I mean, I, I can't even describe, like it, it meant a lot. It really meant, and it means a lot, day in, day out. And people that live here, you know, like, I feel it, like you said, genuinely. Right. Genuinely, I feel it, and it means so much. Because I don't think without the support system it would be possible. I don't think so. And then online. Yeah, I have a big social media presence, and every single message that I get, it means so much. So I'm really thankful for it. Like, that's why, honestly, to be honest with you, that's why I'm doing all of this, the vlogs, the podcast, because of the people that are following and they're supporting every step of the way. And the people that have been with me from the day one, from Battle of Boca tournament, to Grand Slam, and it will happen. And I believe it. I believe in myself more than anybody does, and that's the most important. But having people that believe in me too, and they're here for me, that is, I mean, that, that means the world to me. Yeah. So, and you're one of those people, you're at the top. So, and you know, you know that you know how much I appreciate that, everything you do. So thank you. And I don't want to get too emotional. So let's just go. That's fantastic, Emma. <laughs> that was great. And, and no, I do, I do. I disagree that it's not huge. I think it is huge. You know what I mean, I don't think the, the size of the event or, or whatever it is, if it's a $1,500 event or a 25 or whatever it is, it's more about what you're living right now. You know what I mean? What's gone through, it's, a, it's the first one. I think I do think it's huge. I do think it's huge, and I don't know. I think people uh, are powered by people. You yeah. Know what I mean, yeah. Like I, for I sure. think it's there's there's no such thing as individual sports. Um, it's a whole team, a whole oh, like yeah. It's it's a whole like operation of people yes. and like actual bonds. You know what I mean? Yes. It's it's that like time that um that you spend with your friends or whatever your family with mm -hmm. people that support you that really fuels you to, you know, yes. I mean, it's, at the end of it, it's emotions and, mm -hmm. and we get that from other people. So I think that's, that's also part of what like, we enjoy doing this so much because it's so rare to see in a time today that we're so disconnected with our phones with like, yeah. you know what I mean? That's, it's such like in a way, lonely times, you know, like people mm -hmm. are so disconnected that things that this, that make people, people, even people that watch you, you know, that mm -hmm. they follow you, it gives them a sense of being alive. You yeah. know? Just seeing yeah. like 
It's this. I don't know. This is this is real. This is human. This human is real. It can you know it I mean? can be more real than this. Yeah. So like in a yeah. world that everything is like so like fake and yes. all like superficial. Yeah. Like seeing things like this, like suffering, right? But yes. then turning into to uh, wins and, and yes. wins with other people, and then it's not only like you win and you go home and you you go shower, no? Yeah. You oh win and, you, and you you were exhausted, but you went to dinner with your friends. And yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I feel like it, it has such a. Sp I do think it's huge. I do think it's huge in and inside and outside of the court. So, um, I think it's amazing that we have this platform to share with so, yeah. many, so much people uh, around you. I agree. That being said, thanks everyone for watching, for following, for supporting. Every like, every share means a lot. And uh, thank you so much. Thanks today for watching this episode. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Today's episode is sponsored by Matchset. Matchset is an amazing company that provides players with incredible equipment and apparel. With Matchset, equipment does matter and they make sure it won't slow you down. Use code Tennis with Emma to get 10% of match tennis today. Thank you so much for supporting and listening to our podcast. Make sure to follow us on social media. And be sure to listen to next week's episode of the amazing tennis podcast.